You are about to see Tesla unveiling its new crash safety tech based on collecting real world data. Tesla unveiled its latest crash safety technology based on real world data collection using its large fleet of vehicles equipped with sensors for its self-driving technology friends. It appears that Tesla is releasing new videos about some of its latest technology differentiators. Last month, the automaker released a video on its Tesla Glass. Now, the automaker released a look into its Tesla Crash Lab as its engineers were testing a new crash safety technology. Let's take a look at this together. Welcome to the Tesla Crash Lab. Today we're doing a very special crash. We will be testing a pickup truck hitting a Model Y. As you see, it's a very small overlap. This is what we call an off-zone impact. This is the last piece of validation for what we believe is a world first. Previously, the best way to design a safe car was for industry standard crash testing. And those crash tests are like a few grains of sand. Those grains of sand are meant to represent the beach, but in reality, the beach is infinitely complex. Every crash is different. With emerging technologies, there are new opportunities. Now we can look at the real world and design for that. We're the only car maker in the world that has a, a fleet of well over a million cars on the road, fully instrumented from a, a sensing perspective. We can know exactly where the seat is. We can know where the steering wheel is. We know if they're belted, we know when the airbag deployed exactly to the millisecond. We know exactly what the, our fleet of cars is being exposed to out there. The richness of data we are collecting enables us to develop safety beyond the stars and beyond the ratings and for situations which is simply not picked up by the uh, regulatory rating test that, that uh, we and all other car makers are doing. Industry standard crash testing is focused on impacts directly into the door. We've noticed in the field that it's very common for impacts not to hit the door. Once we found the gap in what the legal testing required and the types of crashes we saw from our fleet data, we decided to use our very detailed simulation models to run impacts in different locations, like this simulation here. And we use this to really tune down to the millimeter and down to the mile per hour, the threshold at which you need airbags and you don't need airbags. We use that to tune the airbags and the seat belts for optimal safety. Conventional systems don't detect this type of crash because it's not an industry standard. This new algorithm takes into account the current sensor set interpreted in a new way so that we can identify this particular type of crash and provide the optimum restraint for that situation. After we ran hundreds of simulations, it was time to test this in the real world. We have 17 high-speed cameras running at 1,000 frames per second, and camera data forms an integral part of the information that we collect in a big test like this. In the back of the vehicle, in preparation, we have our instrumentation rack, and it's got all the critical infrastructure to make sure we get all the data we need. So what will happen is that when this pickup truck impacts the uh, Model Y, so within 10 milliseconds of impact, the system will have determined what type of impact this is. And then it will trigger the airbag system and the restraint system to respond in the best possible way. Three, two, one. We just finished the crash test. Uh, looks like we have a home run result. The cars even ended up exactly where we predicted. Post crash, the uh, detection worked perfectly. Uh, we deployed the airbags exactly as we, we uh, intended to, as we wanted to, and indeed as we predicted to. And I just had a look at the injury values recorded by the dummies, and they look beautiful. Oh, this feels awesome. Uh, this is history in the making, and this is really the end result of the entire chain of Tesla's strength in safety development, starting off with the field data, data analytics, lots of simulation, uh, close cooperation between simulation engineers, design engineers, coming here to the lab, recreating this whole crash, performing it flawlessly, capturing the result. Now we have some post-processing to do to validate everything, but once that's done, this is in the pipeline for over-the-air updates to the fleet, uh, improving the cars. We have more data now than we've ever had before. We can understand real exposure, and then we can design our vehicles for that exposure. We think over time this will change how you design for vehicle safety. It's all based on knowledge. 
I think this is just the beginning of a journey for us. The reason we're doing this is simple. It's, it's because A, we can, we have the ability, and B, it's because it's the right thing to do. So as you can see, by collecting data from the millions of vehicles in Tesla's fleet and replicating real-world crash scenarios, Tesla says they are able to engineer some of the safest vehicles on the road. In 2019, Tesla gave us a first look at the new crash lab in Fremont, California. But this time, the automaker focused on a new technology that Tesla uh, engineers are working on. A Tesla safety engineer going by then in the video, you heard saying, explaining the problem with existing car safety design. He says, Previously, the best way to design a car was through industry standard crash testing. And those crash tests are like a few grains of sand. Those grains of sand are meant to represent the, uh, the beach. But in reality, the beach is infinitely complex. Every crash is different, he says. And then described with Tesla is what Tesla actually is doing different now these days with this. This is very interesting. So he says, with emerging technologies, there are opportunities. Now we can look at the real world and design for that. In the video that you saw, Tesla safety engineers explained, that, explained actually that they gathered real world crash data from the fleet using the scenarios for self-driving on them. By the way, uh, I think it was uh, months ago, or was it last December that Tesla released uh, its um, a full self-driving for a select number of drivers and now that is giving tesla a very good data friends so tesla can use that data because uh, in this uh, crash lab uh, scenarios and as tesla says with emerging technologies there are opportunities now we can look at the real world and design for that and uh, this is why and how tesla explained that they gathered real world crash data from the fleet using the sensors for self self-driving on them. Tesla has over 1 million vehicles on the road producing a lot of data and inevitably some of those vehicles are involved in crashes. With that data, Tesla claims that it's able to detect with 10 milliseconds what type of crash it is and have the airbag react accordingly. That's quick. Imagine detecting the uh, situation, the claim, within 10 milliseconds. Um, when the crash occurs, Tesla is able to know the exact seat position and steering wheel position. However, the driver adjusted them and deploy the airbags accordingly for optimal safety. After a lot of simulation, they tested it the first time with a pickup truck crashing into a Model Y. The automaker described it as a world first and said that the test was a home run based on the crash dummies. Well, friends, let me know your thoughts on this new information. What do you think about this new video? I'm looking at the comments under Electric's explanation of this uh, report. Uh, one person named Anthony says, the most interesting part was the end. If they are successful in their simulations, meaning Tesla, and real world tests, they will be able to push this update out of the fleet. Before, Tesla used to figure out ways to make your car be more efficient or have more comfort through over-the-air software updates. Now, they also appear able to make the car you drive safer with software updates. Another person says, um, talk, um, pointing out the existing car safety design, saying, since I don't believe Tesla is planning to exit car safety design, they probably meant by that to say existing, uh, not exiting. I also wonder if Tesla has began to address one of the core problems in vehicle crash testing. Women are different than men, uh, this user saying. And uh, he also points to a couple of tidbits saying, even though women are 72% more likely to be injured and 17% more likely to die in a car crash than men, the frontal crash tests uh, test the agency requires is only performed using a male driver. There is no mandated test uh, that simulates a female driver. And he says, how bad is that? 
unaccounted for are the varying bone densities, muscle structures, and abdominal and chest psychologies that differentiate women from men. Um, so I think this is super interesting. If you want to read more about um, uh, this, you can uh, also look up the Volvo Equal Vehicles for All EVA initiative. They've shared a bunch of non-male crash test data with other automakers to try and improve this exact issue. Tesla cars are becoming more and more reliable. If you want to see Model 3's reliability and five-star um, conf confirmation of five-star safety rating, look at my previous report today, friends. This is very interesting news. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. And if you'd like to support me, please share this in social media. Tweet it out. I would greatly appreciate it. And give us thumbs up for if you find this report interesting. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone and peace be with all of you. See you soon in our next report.